let's get started with what Zender is all about. Zender, I'm going to show you a little bit of history. Zender was a radiator manufacturer, I believe the biggest in the world. Residential and commercial radiators, hydronic radiators. And in about 2000, the radiator market started to go a little flat because of this stuff called PEX. People started putting plastic in the floors. And so the radiator market has leveled off a bit. And they looked to diversify and do a little bit more range of things. So they got into systems for indoor ventilation, clean air solutions with filter systems, and radiant heating and cooling. <coughs> Zender is a fairly old company, fourth generation. Hans Peter Zender is the chairman today. And the company started in 1895 doing small motorcycles, which were very popular back in the day. Cool. And uh, in 1995, they had the 100 year company anniversary, and then we had about 100 of these, I believe there were 102 or something, of these working models that did a parade through town in Grinniken, Switzerland, where the company is located. So that's how they, they began. And in 1930, when the, you'll, those that know a little history, that's about time the Great Depression, <laughs> things got a little tight and they uh, decided to use their expertise with welding, tubing, and pipe that they had learned in the motorcycle business to start making multi-column metal steel radiators. And that's been, that was their business for about 70 years. In 1980, I, I find this to be a, a kind of a funny slide. The photographer put the towels on the racks instead of on the towel radiator. <laughs> <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. But hey, it's a photo shoot, you know. Don't want to cover the radiator. So. You didn't pay to do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they figured out that you could take a radiator, turn it sideways, and hang towels on it, and that began a uh, little bit of a range. This is a Villaray and Bach by Zender under license radiator, designer radiator. This is an electric radiator. For those that are into this uh, energy efficiency, these can actually be a very efficient way to add heat to a bathroom without having to heat the whole house especially in a market like this. This morning was a chilly morning. You don't really want to heat the whole house up, but it's nice to wake up and have the bathroom warm when you're taking a shower and so forth. These are a very efficient way to do it. We've got a whole range of, of those products. Jumping ahead. And this you can see here is a uh, control programmable, seven-day programmable control. You program to turn on before you wake up in the morning. Your bathroom turned on an hour before you wake up. Your bathroom's warm. You have a warm towel. When you get done, it dries the towel and eliminates mildew. So those are the kind of innovation that they've done with, with uh, the radiator business. And then in 1993, this guy named Rudy Creasy built a laboratory on a hill over Lake Zurich in Switzerland. This is Rudy's little lab. And uh, he built five duplexes with a bunch of people he got together. And I'll talk more about the details of that, which really led to Kumpel Systems, which started in 2000, based on information that Rudy had gathered on this project and uh, ideas he had. He felt that they needed the technology in the equipment side to the mechanical side to bring to market basically solutions to allow him to make net zero, call it net zero homes. In 2002, Zender Group acquired Stork Air located in Zvoli in Holland and started selling the whole Zender Comfort Systems and are today the market leader in Europe for residential ventilation. A little bit about Stork Air, another old European company, started in 1937. 
1985, Paul Janssen went to work for the company, and one year later, they came out with the first heat recovery ventilation units. So this guy here knows quite a bit. A lot more than I do. And it's been diversifying and modernizing and, and continuously innovating to become more efficient, better as far as the uh, efficiency and effectiveness for ventilation. And right now, this is the uh, headquarters, new building and, and factory in Holland. You can see inside is the, uh, the factory. I'll bet those workers like working there, right? Pretty good indoor air quality. <laughs> <laughs> and they make a whole range from 100 to 14,000 cubic meters per hour, which is about 14,000 is about 9,000 CFM. So whole range. We're dealing with, with compo systems here in the States, the strictly residential at this point. So now Zender Group was everything from radiant heating and cooling, radiators, the Kumpo systems, ventilation and heating systems and clean air solutions. This is a company from Sweden, Freshman that they uh, purchased and does filtering systems and so forth for primarily commercial applications. So this is basically where the comp company has gone from strictly a radiator manufacturer to whole house solutions, which is what this is all about. This is now what Zender is striving to be. Comfort, health, energy efficiency, all in indoor climates. 